Hey everyone, this is Hoochie from Nagios, and today I'll discuss two powerful tools that you can use to help revolutionize your IT infrastructure logging and monitoring. I'll be talking about Nagios Log Server and Nagios XI. In this video, we'll explore some of the benefits of using these tools together while also looking into how to configure alerts in XI for specific logs. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Before going over the integration, I want to cover what these tools are and what they can do for those that aren't familiar with it. Nagios Log Server is a log management solution designed to collect, store, and analyze logs from various devices, applications, and systems. With this tool, you can consolidate all your log data into a centralized location, making it easier to identify issues and troubleshoot problems proactively. On the other hand, Nagios XI is a comprehensive IT infrastructure monitoring tool that ensures the health and performance of your entire network. With this monitoring solution, you will be able to monitor everything from servers, network devices, applications, to services, and more. Nagios XI provides near real-time alerts and in-depth reports to help you identify and resolve issues quickly. Now that you have a better idea as to what these tools are and what they can do, let's check out how to step up your alerting. Before you get started, you need some queries already made in the dashboard area of Log Server. If you don't know how to do that, there'll be a link in the description below. I also want to mention that there are various ways to alert in Log Server, but I'll only be showing you how to send alerts to XI. If you'd like to learn more about alerting for Log Server, there'll be a link in the description below. The first thing you need to do is get XI ready to receive alerts. At the top, you'll click Admin, and on the left side, you'll select Inbound Transfers. In the Authentication Tokens area, create a token. Once done, click Update Settings. Now let's switch over to Log Server to create the alert. Here you're looking at the home screen of Log Server. At the top, you'll select Alerting, and on the left side, you'll select Nagios NRDP. At the top right, select Add NRDP Server. Then enter a name for the NRDP server, the IP of your XI server, and the token that was created earlier. You'll now click Alerting again, then select New Alert. You can name your alert whatever you'd like. You'll use Query as the type. You can set your check interval to whatever best fits your needs, but for the sake of this example, the check interval will be every hour. For the loopback period, you typically want to match it with the check interval, so you'll do one hour for the loopback as well. You can set your thresholds to whatever you want, but I'll do one and one to keep it simple. For the notification method, you'll select NRDP. You need to select your server if there are multiple NRDP servers. You can set your hostname to whatever you want. The hostname you choose is what will show up in XI. I'd also make your service name similar to your hostname. If you only want to be alerted when your thresholds are met, you can select this box here. Once you're done, you'll click Create Alert. Your alert will appear and you can then click Run This Alert. Once you do that, you can swap back over to XI and see your new host and service. If you don't see it, then you'll have to configure it by clicking on Admin, then go under Monitoring Config and click on Unconfigured Objects. From here, you want to check the box for your host and service and click on Configure. If it's not there immediately, then give it a minute and click on Unconfigured Objects again to refresh the page. Click on Next, then Finish. Now you should be able to see your new host and service. And there you have it. The combined power of Log Server and XI is a game changer for IT professionals. From streamlined troubleshooting to proactive monitoring to centralized management, this duo will take your infrastructure to new heights. And thanks for watching. For any questions or assistance, visit support.nagios.com and be sure to subscribe for more helpful content. And until next time, take care and happy monitoring.